Russia failed to push back Ukrainian troops in the Kursk region despite sending reinforcements. The invasion continues, the Financial Times reports. According to verified videos and photos, since the start of the operation, the Ukrainian armed forces and their equipment have advanced 30 kilometers into Russia. In particular, the troops have taken the town of Sudza in the Kursk region, not far from the Russian border. Russian Defense Ministry claimed that the Russians had prevented an attempted breakthrough by the Ukrainians near the settlement of Tolpino and, Ob and Obshchi Golodez in Kursk Oblast, located about 25 and 30 kilometers from the Russo-Ukrainian border. The BBC calls it an obvious admission that the defense forces of Ukraine advanced deep in the border, Kursk district. The footage published online and confirmed by the BBC also showed a Russian striker near the village of Levshinka, about 25 kilometers away from the border. BBC correspondents witnessed a constant flow of armored vehicles and tanks moving in the direction of Russia in the Ukrainian city of Sumy, which borders Kursk Oblast. The armored columns are sporting white triangular insignias seemingly to distinguish them from hardware used within Ukraine itself. Meanwhile, aerial photos have appeared to show Ukrainian tanks engaged in combat inside Russia. Meanwhile, satellite imagery showing Ukrainian tanks fighting on the territory of Russia emerged. Ukrainian soldiers Denis, who had completed three rotations on Russian territory since the start of the invasion, tells the Financial Times they are going deeper. He says the Ukrainian armed forces still have the upper hand, even though Russia had sent in reinforcements. Another soldier, Kostyantin, says the early success of the surprise operation really lifted their spirits. According to the Financial Times, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky broke silence to make his first public mention of the invasion of Russian territory by Ukrainian troops. He said that the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Sirsky, had reported to him on the situation at the front and Ukrainian actions to bring the war to the aggressor's territory. A spokesperson for the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense tells the Financial Times that details of the operation have not yet been disclosed as they are waiting to see how things develop. Russian ally Belarus has deployed tank units to the Ukrainian border, according to an announcement from the Belarus Defense Ministry. It happened after the Kursk operation of the Ukrainian army. As part of the strengthening of the border groupings of the troops, tanks of one of the mechanized brigades of the armed forces of Belarus are deployed on the border with Ukraine. The press service of the Ministry of Defense of Belarus released information about this. The units of one of the mechanized formations are ready to perform the assigned tasks, and the military equipment is loaded onto the railway transport and starts to move together to the designated areas, it was pointed out in the information. President Alexander Lukashenko said air defense forces destroyed several of about a dozen Ukrainian drones after they violated Belarusian airspace in the eastern Mogilev region bordering Russia. He said others were later destroyed near the Russian city of Yaroslavl. Earlier on Saturday, the Russian Defense Ministry said Russian forces had intercepted six drones in the Yaroslavl region. Considering the situation in Ukraine and in the Kursk region of Russia, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces has given orders to reinforce troops in the Gomel and Moser tactical areas in order to respond to such provocations, Defense Minister Viktor Krenin said. Special Operations Forces, Ground Troops and Rocket Forces, including Polonez and Iskander systems, have been tasked with deploying to the designated areas. He said Belarus regarded the violation of its airspace as a provocation and was ready to respond. The Belarusian Ministry of Foreign Affairs has issued a statement strongly condemning the actions of Ukrainian armed formations in Russia's Kursk Oblast. It is with deep concern and pain that Belarus has learned about the events that have been recently taking place in Kursk Oblast of the Russian Federation. We strongly condemn the actions of the Ukrainian armed formations, which have gone on this senseless adventure, aggravating the conflict in our region, the statement reads. The Belarusian Ministry of Foreign Affairs expressed support and solidarity with the residents of Kursk Oblast. We express our sincere condolences to the families and relatives of the victims and wish a speedy recovery to the injured, the statement reads.